Hello, everyone. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, Bebe, Kuve. This, my laughter. Some people have said that my laughter is something else. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually trying to laugh. Let me not laugh too much. Let me not laugh too much. <laughs> okay, I shall calm down. I just watched uh, a small part of the interview that Detty did. Uh, uh, Yusuf ba Baba Ahmed Detty uh, did on, on Arise TV with Charles. And they asked him about, uh, you know, uh, Wale Shoinka and the fact that Wale Shoinka had thrown punches at uh, Peter Obi. And then the way he just replied the whole thing, it was so funny. You know, he just, I think, I don't know, let matter disturb it. But anyway, just take it, just watch it. Why not? My pleasure, Charles. You look as fresh as ever. Really? Not a hair out of place. <laughs> um... So Professor Soinka delivers a punch to Peter Obi. What's your reaction to that? The learned elder statesman, Professor Wally Soinka, he is scared in advance about what Peter Obi, what good Peter Obi will bring to Nigeria. He's scared in advance that uh, the end is still looking very likely uh, for his principle, for bad governance. And uh, what Shoinka is doing now is an attempted distraction, which I beg you to excuse me from joining issues with Wale Shoinka, please. Uh, you and I have much, much better things to do. For all I know, he could continue to throw punches at my principal at me, as small as I am, he could continue to do that. All I can do, I will grieve in my heart, <laughs> I will pray for him. You watch that, right? I seen attempted distraction. I love the way he just put that up because that's just so apt. You understand? Everything is reeking of, uh, in short, unbelievable failure. If failure was a stench, all of us, our nose would have stopped working because we would have been so. You know, when you stay in a place that it's so smelly and then your nose just gets, goes off, that, that's where we would have been uh, at this stage. And it's really, it's absolutely crazy. It's, it's unbelievable, honestly, the things, you know, uh, the, the things that are happening. And you, with all that is happening in Nigeria today, what concerns Wale Shoinka is on the issue of Peter Obi that he shouldn't contest in 2027. Honestly, all this word that Wale Shoinka have been talking, even this, I wouldn't have said anything, if not for this video that I saw. I just had a laugh when I watched, uh, you know, the way that he just dismissed him. I was like, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Uh, let's just put it, how did you put it, attempted distraction. That's even why I'm even talking about it because over the time I've really, you know, I just look at it, I'm like, Wale Shoinka, you know, the, what were you thought of Wale Shoinka and what Wale Shoinka is right now? You're like, wow, you know. And then for me, it's just a sobering moment and just something that also one has to really be cautious of, of that. Look, just just ensure that you don't you don't get in certain ways or that you don't get to be set set certain way or certain thing and 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 you know. So for me, it's just such, just you know, when you look at that, that's like your childhood hero, you know doing all this kind of people like you're still trying to ask yourself was he really that person or were you did you give someone the kind of uh, rating that the person didn't deserve or, or stuff like that so it, it's one of those things but the way really uh, you know just listening to dirty the way dirty does put it that uh, look it's actually attempted distraction because people are talking about uh, one year. I've refused, I've refused to discuss that and I'm not going to even do it right now here. But it's just that, uh, you know, the issue of Tinubu and his failure and the fact that he keeps failing every day is one thing or the other. If they are not lying, if Tinubu and his people are not lying over the fact that they are bringing one investment or, or the other or they are lying that they've had this thing. I'm talking about lying. When I say lie, I mean real lies. That people that they say they are having meetings with our stuff are coming out to say no, we, we didn't have this discussion with you. All of we seen where 
oh they've said they've done this they are they are bringing this investment and they are all lies and you keep wondering do they think they are going to govern with propaganda they spent almost all their years focused on propaganda that now that they have rigged their way into office they don't know that this is the time for governance this is not the time for propaganda the kind of propaganda that you give at when you are in of, uh, when you are in office so for him maybe because he is on he rigged his way into office and he doesn't seem to realize it is the fact that you will give people good governance they will be the one doing the propaganda for you. you don't even need to talk it's just like when you look at nigeria now you look at alex oti and the things that he's he's doing there he's not even the one that is speaking it's his people that are speaking it's people there that are speaking and are saying see this see this see this see what is being done see what so that's the kind of propaganda that you want to do if, if you if you want to if let's even call it propaganda let people be the one to say oh my goodness have you seen what this person is doing have you seen what he's doing and, and all of that but for you to come in the stench of failure everything inflation is out of the roof people can eat people are starving people are dying people are being killed i mean the, the this this whole how many how long is it that tinibu has been in office the biggest beneficiary of tinibu being in office have been terrorists and criminals they are the ones they're the ones that have had a field day to do what they want to do how they want to do it when they want to do it they're the ones that they they go about they killed at will the way they want they they they, they loot they, they they rob people they kidnap people they do us even in the in the heart of abuja and nothing is being said and nothing is being done to them and so they're the ones who are really enjoying and having a having a fun time having a blast with the fact that you know Tinubu was uh, was able to rig election and get his way uh, into office, and instead of Wale showing car to focus on that, he decided to go and bring uh, uh, Peter Obis matter to say that oh he shouldn't contest it. Yeah, oh, okay, you can't. And he, this is one who says he fights for people's rights all the time. You can't come and tell someone that the person cannot cannot contest, should not contest, whatever. As long as somebody is 18, they have a right to vote and, and be voted for. That is, so it's a, he has a right, like Walesha well, Inka has a right to not vote for uh, Peter Obi. He has a right to campaign against Peter Obi. He has a right to campaign for whatever is his candidate that he wants to can, campaign for. But the thing is that this particular person is an it's an abysmal failure of all the failures that Nigeria has been unfortunate to have as president. This one, this particular Tinubu, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, former governor of Lagos State, that rigged his way into Asu Villa, is the biggest and the worst of them all. If I can even use the, he's the worstest of all the failure. Ah, oh my show.